going to be picked up here makes it a very magic heavy top side of the map um four live sandbox as well and so it's sort of talking about all of this uh you know damage variants and things like that both teams sort of suffering from a very similar situation so it's going to be a little bit better here for T1 as far as uh, their efforts to scale forward. I like their idea of, you know, park yourself around oh, an I already, I already can. And it does yeah. mean that there will be knowing uh, where owner is going to be in the foreseeable future, but T1 responds in kind. And uh, we see immediately a ward going down here. And uh, let's see how he goes uh, on his first game on the Nidalee. Currently his 100% win rate within the LCK. What an extraordinary player. Um, but he's going to have to do it again. Game, but now on the matchup that was played by the Sandbox, which feels kind of mean. Um, yeah. Good for T1 fans, but kind of mean as we see. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it was a decent margin. As uh, On Fleek does choose the right skin. However, he is not going to be able to help Effort here, who does have to flash away. And he's going to get double scuttled here by Owner by the looks of things, as this ward is going to be cleared, but not going to be able to get towards this oh, river. Carrier. He's uh, still looking around, just wanting to make sure that everyone's gone home. His owner looking for the spear. Summit walks back, though. But still, it's looking real rough. There's the uh, cast, because Summit decides to go the other direction. But Closer's lying in wait. And he's going to get the bad news pretty soon. There's the paddle star. He's still looking to be frustrating, but there are more sparkles for him to take. And Closer's going to grab first blood this time. And there you also see the power uh, of the side. This specific play doesn't really matter, so you don't have to feel too bad about it as owner. Uh, level 6 hit here. Yep, uh, Effort going to go in with the dredge line. They just wait it out once again as he's burning down. There's the killer instinct, but Effort is going to survive for the moment. What did he get down to? It was about 10. Yeah, and or something like that. I should have been looking bottom left. There's also, but, uh, he comes still... in for his first game, and then you see Teddy, and you're like, oh, no. All right, there's another cast, because Zayus is going to flash out of the way of On Fleek and Summit. The train is going to leave for a very short while. But he's now going to go over and help with this Rift Herald instead. Owner in position. Carrier rotating over, but, you know, he's going to go home. There's on fleet coming on down. This could be a 50-50, actually. That could be quite scary. As it does go over to Owner by the looks of things. Does pick up the eye there as Carrier decides not to go home, actually. Instead, he wants to grab some kills. His effort and fate going down pretty low. On fleet should be falling here as well. As there's the shockwave. It's going to take down two in an instant. And on fleet survives. That's a great pulverize, though, as T1 are looking to try and answer back. Carrier will answer for his sins as effort trying to walk Closer. his way out. Not sure why only uh, on fleet decided to come back. Back, but he did as uh, Closer looking for Summit now, who doesn't have a lot of mana left and can't actually body slam to slow Closer down. And Closer's going to say thanks for the double buffs. However, thought he was going to get the drive by as five on Fate. In the meantime, Fate is uh, looking to fall down here in the mid lane. That's a hit spear that time around. Liked it as Kerry is going to get the trample. On to effort, but the dredge line comes back. Bubble is going to stop anyone from being able to get out of there as in goes Owner and Closer grabs his fourth of the game. Goodbye, Mr. Udia. And that is now a 4-0-2 Zoe. 100% kill contribution here as we move towards the mid game. And that is terrifying if you're a Live Sandbox fan. Walk out mm -hmm. here because of the cooldowns. Yeah. And then this is, yeah, it's it's the, the not teleporting cow, actually. <laughs> Carrier doesn't oh, care. Oh, Carrier, no. He just, he just does it. <laughs> he just keeps going. I didn't notice. <laughs> that, that already, right? They've taken down that mid outer turret. The map belongs to them, especially considering how just strong they are in general in comparison to Live Sandbox. So if they can just force them into a team fight and force them to mill about in an area, it's exactly what T1 wants. So just a dragon fight is all they really need. Good belly bop there for an interruption as owner is snuck into this brush. Let's see whether the spear is actually going to connect as uh, the train's going to come through as there is the cask. It's going to bring on owner, but I don't know whether Summit's going to survive this one. Owner gets under the turret. Somehow that spear is going to connect as he flashes forward, collects the kill, and uh, yes, had to use the flash, but still able to lock that one down in the end. Now T1, can they survive here on the bottom side? As our carrier does <laughs> have a break. For T1 here, and it's a bit unfortunate as on fleek. Something else to say about that. Yeah. He's trying to be relevant, as there's the shockwave, Burden Barry, thank you very much for that one, as on fleece gonna get paddle start, now has to flash away, the ignite still ticking down, as Prince trying to get the autos, trying to get to that S rank, as that's a great death charge and dredge line, and that's going to grab Prince's first kill of that's the game. Some vintage Nautilus hook that we saw, <laughs> that effort really, really hitting that one very nicely. Uh, you do see the problem there with Lift Sandbox initially, is, yeah... Zeus is uh, the king of drive-bys, but that's not, that's not, that's not what you're talking about, unfortunately. 
from where Although his head from Sleek is on top of him and he still doesn't die. And that's kind of what I was referring to earlier as that's not okay. Well, yeah, this is really rough as there's so many sparkles coming from uh, Closer right now, just uh, picking up flashes. Uses his own actually. That was uh, more aggressive than it necessarily needed to be, but that's fine. Paddle stars yeah. or bubbles or void seekers and then Teddy's on top of you and then you're sad as you see even the collapse here. Ooh. Yes, feel actually landing on a fate there as you can see Closer getting over the wall. Effort can't actually engage anymore. Just live sandbox before the fight even starts. They don't have a support. Another bubble connects here onto the Udia. As even on fleek now has to back away. Remember, there's nothing to really fight for in the river. Um, fun. The Drake was already taken. We have a mountain soul this game. Fun. They're fighting yes, for fun. Uh, I would, yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> for the good times. You just need to have fun. Um, is Live Sandbox having fun when I they're mean, fun? They're not. <laughs> T1 is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I guess my question then is why Live Sandbox trying to get to the river for no reason at all? I mean, I think they thought they could find the, uh, the collapse there. That was wondering what he wants to do. Here we go. Here's the epic battle. Look at that. Lowers the resistance. Oh, devastating smash. Oh, get him. Beautiful. Amazing. That was a. This is just, this is high octane top laning right here. Look at the health bars. They have gone slightly down. And now Zeus is moving out of the way. Effort is now going to turn up to add also minimal really damage to this care. battle. There is a Nidalee on the way. Does get a double knockup. That's another double knockup there from Zeus. As Prince is finally going to get here. Soul Furnace comes in. You can see the dive through from Ona immediately takes down the Nautilus. As Zeus is still just tanking up the <laughs> ultimate from Prince. Shockwave comes through, lands onto three, but it's not going to stop the double kill from landing. Somehow, Teddy gets a field goal through the middle of these two as the bubble is going to connect onto the Ariana, but not able to get another paddle, paddle star down. And uh, that was comical. <laughs> Damn, this is so tanky. It's high octane gameplay here, Atlas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and this is like, you can't approach. That's the problem. Um, you're going to get hit by something. And this is feeling like Zeus is uh, Meanwhile, not they've forgotten that Teddy exists, and he's going to take an inhibitor turret in the mid lane. Um, Teddy's had a very slow game today. He's sort of secret agent Teddy right now is on fleek. He's going to get a pounce out of Closer as uh, Effort. Just going to get popped. Yep, Teddy pops on over. He's like, all right, I'll just take that one. Thanks for the ticket out of here. As now on fleek trying to chase them down, but in comes the train. Prince could be in trouble. That was some sick drifting, actually, out of Zeus to get him here. But inhibitor turret now being occupied by Liv Sandbox. Oh my goodness, the blade whirl didn't really do enough there. As you can see, the Udia just going to die. Not a lot of options right now, as I believe the bubble did connect. Summit is still going to die. Voidseeker picks that one up. All you, Teddy, all you. As now it looks like T1 are actually just going to push through for the win. They've taken enough of these kills. They've had enough of this game. It's a 10,000 gold lead. And T1 are looking so strong. However, not going to take this next Nexus turret. As you can see, teleport back immediately by Closer. As uh, T1 do have some lower health bars. Uh, <laughs> not going to go for the end. Close of that. <laughs> yes, no, the sandbox, you're not getting used, Drake. I will, I will just peace out. Um, oh my goodness, look at the poke. Yeah. That's crazy. These bubbles seem to be homing. Somehow that sphere connects onto on fleek, and he just dies as a gift. Over to T1. Into the back line goes Carrier. Effort is going to be cleaned up, but does manage to interrupt the decimating smashes. Teddy finds the back line. Blade Wells just going to be waited out. That's not going to find anything there, Fate on the shockwave, and now Summit's just gonna be gunned down. And T1, they just wanted one more <laughs> team Zeus. fight before they won this one. The Dragon's still available, by the way. But no, the Nexus is more important. This last Nexus turret would have been taken down by minions. And now Fate finds himself on the fountain without a hope or a prayer. As <laughs> it's caught, it goes carrier. Uh. Throwing his life away. Oh my goodness, Teddy locks that one down with the Akathian Reign, and there goes the Nexus T1 with a swift 2-0 against Livsam. It's a happy game for T1, they're all... <laughs> oh yeah. And it's one that I think they really needed after what has definitely been a super rough split for them.